Hey everyone, welcome back to another Painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay. So grab a brush, grab some models, grab some paints, and paint along with me. Let's rid our world of unpainted models. Yes. Shout out to Cat Cody Roo. Happy birthday, Cody Roo, by the way. So, today I'm going to be working on some ad mech. Um, I've had a lot of army uh, in storage for a while. I have not painted, so I'm going to be painting them. Um, I did mention my last Painting with Jay that I'll probably work on Imperial Knights, but we'll talk about that after as well. But yeah, so today I'll be working on some Skatari Rangers in a Martian color scheme. That's what I'm going to do for my Skatari. And then for my... Um, what I did was, I when there were two separate armies originally, I did Skatari as Martian, and I did Metallica, I believe, for um, the Cult Mechanicus. So I'll continue those. And that's it. So let's get started painting. Uh, we'll work on them for the next little while, and uh, we'll get some stuff done. Yeah. Let's get started. All right, so here we go. As you can see, I have my Skatari Rangers. I've already primed them and painted them a couple shades of red, as you can see here. And today I will be, making sure that that is in focus, yes. I'll be painting them. I'll be working on the reds. Now, this is my original color scheme, but as you can see, the red is very flat to the point where I'm probably gonna go back and repaint the reds on these guys originally, my test group. Uh, I found them to be really flat and I didn't like it. And I did paint a little bit of a gradient on it, but it just, it ended up flat. So that's okay. So today I will be painting the red areas and then going from there, probably metallic areas, probably. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to start off by painting a one-to-one -one mix of Evil Sun Scarlet and a Wild Rider Red. That way I can just make the edge highlights really pop on these guys. And uh, it'll look really good. You know, it'll, get, it'll make them really pop on these, I think. Not flat like the other ones. And, uh, yeah, and we'll talk. So I've been working on a few painting tutorials lately. I'll come over the next little while. But as I was saying, I... Um, oh, this is very bright. Good. So, I wanted to work on Ad... Uh, sorry. Imperial Knights was what I really wanted to work on after finishing up with my Necron Army. And I did film a Necron Showcase, I just gotta edit it and put it up. But, um, I'm just thinning down my paint a little bit, there we go. So now I'm just gonna do some edge highlights with this mix, but I, I'm working on Imperial Knights. And so, but I decided it would be really cool, because I'm doing all my knights in a different color scheme. Like, let's take this one, this is the knight I'm just finishing up for a tutorial. As you can see here. He's in a, uh, Hawk Shroud color scheme. Looks like I just got to do the basing. Um, I decided that I'm going to do tutorials for each model. For each uh, model that I paint for Imperial Knights. So then I thought, okay, well, if I'm painting tutorials, I can't do painting with J's, right? Because I don't want to reuse the same footage. And it's also different. It's hard to focus on my painting tutorials when I'm... Uh, Doing a painting with Jay, right? I tend to do more casual painting with Jay. So as you can see, I'm just gonna do a quick edge highlight, which will bring some details out in the reds. Um, so I decided, but I really do like to do my painting with Jay's. I really do, because Adam, you missed a spot. And otherwise, how will Adam know that he missed a spot, right? Um, it's important that I remind Adam how he missed a spot. So I figured I really should do an army for my painting with J's, but as I said, I can't do Imperial Knights. So I decided that I'm doing Imperial Knights for painting tutorials over the next uh, little while. I'll film them over the next, you know, three or four weeks, all my Imperial Knights, get them all done. And then I will do Admech, which was the next army I was going to work on anyway. I have... Now, I originally thought I had thousands of points of Admech. And uh, it turns out I don't. I, I did... Well, I have thousand, like a couple thousand, but... Yeah, I just plugged it all into my army builder and um, or whatever it's called um, battle scribe and it turns out I only have like 
2,000 points of Admech, because Admech has gotten so cheap. You know, I do, I've played a few battle reports, as you can see, it's usually against uh, my friend Dave, who um, plays Admech, and I, we always talk about it because he knows I have my Admech army working on it, I still, I do have about a few hundred points paint, uh, four or five hundred points painted so far, but um, I have two of the start collecting Admech box sets and some other things that I've been collecting over the time, while, so... I have plenty of points, but in my games against Dave, I've always noticed that he can bring so many models. They're not necessarily a horde army, but it seems like it. You know? But they're a lot more survivable than orcs. So I, uh... It's been funny, so I was putting my army, wondering, like, how many points do I have to build? And it turns out I only have about 2,000 points of Admech total. And then, by that I mean, Skatari and Cult Mechanicus, right? Combined? I do have some both. So, uh, yeah, I'll be working on those over the next couple months. I'm excited, because that's one of the armies, you know, I'm really wanting to build. And, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but, uh, and girls, but um, each of my armies is primarily a different color, other than my orcs have a lot of blue on them, because they're deaf skulls, and my tyranids have a lot of blue on them. They were my first couple armies. And then after that, I really did, I, I want, I like to collect different colored armies. So I have Grey Knights from Metallic. I have Dark Angels, which are dark green and bone and black. I have, um, um, let's see, sorry, my Necrons, which are gold and silver primarily. Um, I have Imperial Fists, which are yellow. My knights are all different colors. You know, so I've been intentionally doing different um, colored armies. Because each one I want to be a different color to focus on different colors and not to make it all the same monotony, right? And so this is army will be my red army. And then my other ones, my cult mechanicus, are going to be um, bone and red. Yeah. That's going to be cool. What else do I have? Um, Grey Knights, yeah. I haven't played Grey Knights in this edition yet. I really should. There we go. This red looks so much more vibrant and will pop so much more than my old one. Look at that. So, that's good. And I'll go back later and fix up the reds of those guys as well. Fat one squad. So in the end, I have, what, three groups of Skatari Rangers. I might do one Vanguard, but I'm, I'm debating on it right now. So I'm going to do at least two Skatari Rangers. I'm probably going to do three Skatari Rangers, probably. I like Skatari Rangers more than Vanguard, but uh, teach his own on that. I like their shooting better. Strength three shooting. I uh, get three times the shots, but... Uh, I like the guns that they have access to. Um, for the Rangers. But I have three Skatari Rangers squads. I have. What else do I have? I have three. <laughs> because of all the box sets I've collected um, from a variety of things. But um, I have three Tech Priest Dominuses. I have Belisarius Call. I have. Um, <laughs> Two of the Dragoons, I guess, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the one with the Jouster one. A squad of Rust Stalkers. Um, Dune Crawlers. I have two Dune Crawlers. I have mm -hmm, a lot to paint. Uh, some of that stuff is painted. As I said, I already have one of my squads of um, 
Rangers painted. I have a squad of uh, robots painted. I just have to do the data smith for it. Um, I've painted mostly a squad of the, oh, I don't remember what they're called. Um, the guys on the wheels and the grav cannons. So yeah, as I said, I'm working on my guys and it'll be a while. It'll be a while, it's gonna be a big painting project. All right, putting together an army, but it will take a little while, but it'll be worth it in the end, and they'll be done. And then after that, I'll go to the next army, whatever I'm working on at that time. I still have tons of orcs. Orcs could take me a very long time. But, uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, it works could take me a very long time. Space Marines, I have a lot of models too. I just don't know if I want to do another faction. Or just keep doing my Imperialists. I have one more work. And obviously I originally had the models to build the um, that cool detachment with all the free vehicles. But then the rules changed before I could finish it. So, yeah, I have Space Marines and Orcs. Most of my workshop boxes are and unpainted models are Space Marines and Orcs. But I'm going to wait for the next Orc Codex, of course. As I said, I'm not doing Orc, I'm not painting Orcs until the next, at least the next Space Marine, uh, sorry, Orc Codex, because that way um, all the models I'm building, I can build them in a in a manner that would be more optimal. I don't want to build a bunch of models that I already, you know, already have most of, and then the rules change. Doesn't make any sense. What else is news right now? Um, speaking of sp new Space Marines, of course, it's been officially announced that the Space Wolves are the next Codex, followed probably by Gene Stealer Cult. Um, I think GW is using Orktober. Which I didn't, I don't think I coined that phrase, I just used it a couple years ago. But, um, looks like there's going to be an announcement in or, in or, I don't know if it's a new Orc Codex in, or, in Orktober, but there's that new Speed Freaks kit, which looks really cool. Um, that'll be really cool. And then, of course, it says Space Wolves are next. So I'll definitely do a uh, Space Wolves Codex review. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get back onto my codex reviews in that way because that was what I, that's the most frequently... Other than painting with J's, people really want to see painting with J's. Uh, people really liked my old codex reviews. So, I'm getting back into them. And that'll be good. Space Wolves, from what I've seen, are going to be a good army. Uh, they're now, you know, they have now accessed all the Primaris stuff again. Uh, they finally combined, you know, added all the Primaris Marines things back in. Well, they didn't take them away, but you know what I mean. They're now in the Codex. They have access to all the things that the other Space Marine factions have access to, which is good. Um, yeah. But I'll definitely do a Codex review. Of that and we'll go from there. Yeah. Time slowing by. Summer. Oh, that was a bad itch highlight. Whatever. It'll it'll dry it darker than it is. Um, summer's flying by. You know, it, it's going to be fall before we know it. I hate saying that. And then fall, winter. The year just melts away. 
I went to the final concert that I think I'm going to go to this summer for Peterborough Music Fest. It was really good. It was Terry Clark. Uh, she's a Canadian country music icon. But this year's summer music fest lineup has been amazing. By far my favorite so far. And uh, through my work, I was just able to get a few of the VIP tickets. So it's a slightly better ticket. So it is a free concert, but uh, you can get like VIP tickets, which gets you like right up to the stage. And uh, this summer I got VIP tickets to Alan Doyle. And uh, for those of you who don't know, who aren't, well, Canadian or party music people, uh, Alan Doyle is the former singer of Great Big C. Uh, when I was together, there were two singers, Sean McCann and Alan Doyle. He was really good. He played, it was like, a, again, it was like a, about two-thirds, one, uh, about almost 50-50. His music and Great Big C music are very similar styles, like sea shanties and songs about drinking and enjoying yourself. And it was really fun. Um... I saw Magic, not a, magi a magician, the band Magic. They are known for the song Rude. Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too kind of song? But merrier anyway. You know, they were good, really good. Uh, the Trues were really, really good. Winter Sleep was really good. Uh, Big Rack was good. You know, just a lot of uh, bands. That This year's lineup was really solid. Really solid. And it was, uh, it's, it's free. You can donate to charity while you're there and stuff. And it, it, I usually do buy the 50-50 raffle because it goes to uh, support the concerts. But, um, yeah, it's a really good lineup this year. And it was, it's been a lot of fun. And my girlfriend and I have just been enjoying life and working on the house whenever we can. We've gotten a lot done this summer. Um, we didn't have to mow the lawn much. It's been very dry, very, very dry. I ran out of paint, so I'm just gonna fill up my palette with some more paint. Um, it's been a really dry summer. Very dry, very warm, muggy, but not a lot of rain. So we've, um, I don't know, I've only mowed the lawn a couple times. I guess Adeptus Titanicus comes out this weekend. I'm not going to be buying it. <laughs> I just don't have the money to... Uh, it looks like a really good game, and the models look terrific. I'm kind of curious as to the size of them, but uh, I just don't have the money, to be honest. I don't have that kind of money to... I know and I know what I'm saying. It's kind of hip, funny, hilariously hypocritical, because I always, I've, I've invested a lot of money in models. I just don't have the money at the moment to buy the 300... You know, it's like $360 Canadian box set. And uh, let's make sure that that audio's on. There we go, yeah. Of course it wasn't. That'd be hilarious. This whole time I've been like, well, there goes a the take. But uh, I just don't have the money. That's okay. You know. But um, what else? Yeah, I said that's probably going to be my last concert of the summer. Uh, the next ones are a couple are just tribute bands, which are cool too. They can be fun, but I don't care too much about tribute bands. Um, there's been a new, I remember in one of my old Painting with Jays, I talked about the uh, farmer's market. And there's a new farmer's market, of course, to compete with the old farmer's market. They are now, you know, the, the, the people who got kicked out have created their own farmer's market. It's now just as popular, if not more popular, than the original. So I've been going there on Saturdays when I'm not working. And uh, getting stuff, supporting local farmers. But, um, man, yeah, it's, it's fun. Like I've gotten a, a bit of a plan for my painting and my models for the near future. It feels good. Um, by no means am I going to run out of paint un models to paint this year. Uh, maybe by the end of next year, orcs, as I said, are going to be the huge, uh, test of my 
painting patience. It's going to be probably like three to four months of works when I start, but uh, that's okay. Right? I uh, I love orcs. They're probably my favorite army. And uh, yeah, it'll be a good time. I just I'm going to wait to the next codex, and then equip my models accordingly. I've given up on the Blue Jays. This is not their year. Um, frankly, we just can't compete with the teams like the Yankees and the Red Sox that are just... I really do think there should be a salary cap in baseball. There seems to be such a strong correlation between amount of money spent and winning teams. You know? And just some teams can't spend as much. And so I know the, the two arguments, why should you penalize a team for being in a good market? But at the same time, most other professional sports have salary caps because then that way it prevents the situation. It also prevents teams from just going nuts and offering millions to players that you know, everyone else keeps things competitive and interesting in the league. You know? We as Warhammer 40k players, we have very strict rules on our games. It's like if if all tournaments were open war, and you could just bring whatever you wanted, and there were no limits on points. It wouldn't be very fun. So whoever... Now, obviously, we play a game that, again, you spend the most money, and so it's a pay-to-win game. <laughs> Obviously, I am aware of the hypocrisy in that statement, but you know what I mean. It's. What are your thoughts, people? Do you think that baseball should have salary cap? What are your thoughts on salary caps in general? Because I like them. To me, they keep things more fair, but I understand why people don't like them. Especially if you live in a big market. Obviously, I live near Toronto, which is the biggest market in hockey, but I still agree with uh, salary caps. So couple more guys to do the, the edge highlights on, and then I will uh, transition to metals. And we'll do the metallic areas, and then the metallic areas will take a while. I'm hoping to have these guys done. As I said, I'm going to be, I think, I don't know what I'm going to necessarily do with my plan for painting. As I said, I'd like to do painting tutorials uh, for the Imperial Knight models over the next few weeks. Get them all done. And then we have my Imperial Knight models. I still have three more to paint because I have the um, Renegade box set. September's going to be really busy. I think I have something every weekend, including two we two weddings. So, that'll be good. It'll be a good time. It'll be my girlfriend and I's first wedding together. Uh, we each have, you know, one of her friends is getting married and one of my friends is getting married. So, that'll be good. It's not really a test of a relationship or anything. I'm not too afraid of going to a wedding. Of course, two divorced people dating each other at a wedding is kind of fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. I hope your summers have been going well in the internet land. Now, I've saved to all my, all my Australian friends. Hope your winter's been going well. And uh, soon, warmth will be on you. Yeah, time's flying by. This summer, this uh, fall, I'm going on a trip 
around Thanksgiving. So I'll be actually away in or or October. I'll be in uh, Canada for a good chunk of it. It'll be a very good trip. And regardless of what I miss, I'm not going to be you know too upset based on. I do like the fact that I'm doing these highlights on these guys. They really do. I said the reds will pop a lot more than what they did on the uh, my last batch. I'll go back and fix that last batch after with a couple of batch highlights. <laughs> Good. Red is actually my least favorite color to paint. It's very messy to me. It's a very messy color. I don't know. I find it gets everywhere. But uh, that's why I'm, I'm painting a, yellow, a red army, ultimately. Just like yellows are a challenging color, so I did a yellow army. I need to do a white army eventually. Maybe I'll do a white scars for my... I don't know. I said I have a bunch of... Um, I have a bunch of Space Marine models. A bunch that I could paint in any color scheme, and then... Obviously, for my battle reports, I don't really care. I can put you know multiple colors together, but um, that's the ultimate question that I'll come upon eventually. I don't, to be honest, Space Marines are not my top priority for the next little while. As I mentioned, Admech is my first priority, and then after that's done, I'll sit down and think about it. If there's been no Orc Army, co no new Codex yet, um, I'll keep painting other armies. So, so then I might sit down and do a. Space Marines for a while, and then after that, I don't know, just take it by ear. As long as I'm painting the model, that's what matters. You know, as long as you keep going, it doesn't matter which army I paint, as long as we're making progress on our um, armies, right? Because that way, there's no, eventually, there's going to be no. Um, models left, which is the dream of every 40k player slash modeler is to have no new models left and of course that will never happen probably, that's okay I know it's a pipe dream, but we'll keep working towards it, we're going to rid our world of unpainted models here, there we go so now I'm going to paint silvers, some uh, iron, uh, sorry, lead belcher. Paint that and get these guys painted. As I said, I don't know what I'm going to do for the next, I'm probably just going to, in my off time, paint tutorial models. You know, for the, uh, um, I, I spend about, I try to do an hour a day, but lately it's been an hour every two days, but I do try to, to put a bit of time towards my painting. But I've been focusing on my painting tutorial models, and um, I'm probably gonna do that. And then, so I'll work on these, these, this, or maybe we'll see. I'll just paint whatever I want. I guess and I can paint these guys in my if I ever have to wait for a shade to dry, for example. But uh, I will continue to uh, paint these guys in my. Free time a little bit, but the majority of my free time painting will be tutorial models. So now I'm just doing silvers, which will be the faces. The silver, and then my next color is just black. Uh, my gray liner color will really break up the monotony of the reds because these models are, are primary, like the way that I, my color scheme is. There's not a lot of color, different colors. It's um, about four or five different colors in this model. So I'm, uh, it's gonna be silver, it doesn't exist, metal plating will be. I'm just trying to remember my color scheme here. That's why I'm going to go through my... I 
example model. And yeah, so this will really bring in a new color and then the black areas, it's um, As you can see, Lead Belcher does have solid coverage. I really like that I can paint that over the red and uh, eliminate the red, basically. See, we're about halfway in, half an hour in. Cards are done. I want a brush that has a little more, that's too big. Yeah, we'll go back to my zero, there's a double zero, go to zero. You know what, maybe a one. There's a two, I might have lost my one. Oh, there it is. Yeah, perfect, that'll be good. I'm gonna take a break for a second. My girlfriend's about to walk in and we'll come back up. And I'm back. I just had to go uh, say hi to the girlfriend. She's back home. So we're gonna keep working on the metallics for the next about 20 minutes, half an hour. And uh, we'll go from there. You know, it's all good. The cool thing about these models, they don't take that long to paint. I will be taking, I've always wanted to paint Belisari's call in a really slow fashion. That way I can paint to a little higher of a standard, maybe like a, yeah, higher than my normal standard. So I might be doing that in the next little while as well, once I get to Belisari's Call. But it'll be one of the last people I paint um, because I do have, oh, I think it's out of focus here. There we go. Because I do have, you know, three uh, Tech Priest Dominuses, I can kind of get away with out having Belisarius call for a while. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm excited to have all these guys, oops, oh man, all these guys painted, you know? And with every box that is gone, it makes me happier. You know, I'm, uh, it feels really good when you clear out several boxes. Like some of my shelves right now are actually almost barren, which is really nice because it means that I have stuff. And now once all my, my goal is eventually um, when all my shelves are empty from models that need to be painted, I'll just move the shelves into my games room, the game I film all my battle reports in. And I will Use that shelf for the painted models. So, that'll be good. Yeah. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna have tacos. I decided that. It's Taco Thursday. <clears throat> Random fact of the day. If you type out the word, if you write out the word SWIMS in capital letters, <clears throat> S-W-I-M-S in capital letters, turn it upside down, Spell swims. It's kind of cool. I know it's like palindromes. Obviously, the words that are spelled backwards are the same, but very rarely the words that are spelled upside down are the same. You know? 
is kind of cool. Um, yeah, Admech is a very interesting army. I think they're cool. I don't think they... I, I, they could possibly win a tournament. I don't ever see them being represented in like a GT. Um, they could be. You know, maybe I'll play them in a GT one day. Yeah. They're, the more I think about Necrons, unfortunately, I don't think Necrons are a top tier army. They're a lot of fun to play. I love them. I just don't see them. I think they're two points expensive. The more I think about it. Like, you know, yeah. You know, there's not in... most competitive circuits. The World Tournament happened uh, a week ago, two weeks ago. Canada was in it. We didn't do amazingly. Congrats to the States. I believe they won it overall. They definitely earned it. Um, yeah, I, I knew a couple guys on Team Canada. Um, Scarry from Scarred Cast. You know, I've play, played against him a couple times and I've, uh, I've actually hung out with him a few times as well. He's a really good guy. He has a very cool accent. And my, uh, my friend Ben, who came to visit me at one time, uh, we did a couple battle reports together. I kept calling him a Sticky Wicket. Shout out to Sticky Wicket Ben. And once again, happy birthday, Mr. Cody Roo. Happy birthday, my friend Austin. From Brush for Hire. Slash Death Ray Designs. Go check out their website. Good stuff, good products. But, um... Mm -hmm. Hmm. Just remember what should be metallic and what shouldn't be. As I said, these guys have paid into a decent tabletop standard. But, um, it's all good. I'm, uh, I'm just really excited to have another army complete. I do know I have a lot of table, a lot of studio armies, and I don't give a lot of attention for each army. Uh, I know some YouTubers focus more on a specific army, and I just do whatever I feel like. Teach is all on that, you know? I'm more of a generalist. Um, that's my dog chasing the cat. But um, that's what I like to do. I like to mis you know, mix it up. Play different armies. Um, gives me a better strategy and I have fun. I bring strategies to different armies. And, yeah. As I said right now, I'm focusing on different armies and I'm painting different armies. I don't know what that sound is. The dishwasher? Laundry machine? It's a weird vibration. Yeah, so these guys, as I said, after the silvers, there's going to be a cleanup color, what I call a cleanup color that just ties it all together, the black, which I do gray liner for. And then um, some golds or bronze. And some, blue, some small ones, blue, maybe a couple browns, you know. That of the frame. Admech is a very interesting army. They don't, they're not necessarily a point and click army. They have a lot of strategy to them and you can, you know, they have the, the mandibles, the, the cantibles of the Anosaya and you can just change them frequently. 
Canticles of the Elder Sire, I think it's called. They're definitely a strategic army. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, I didn't pay that guy's shoulder pads. Oops. Um, it's going to be really cool to play. I'll challenge probably my friend Dave, play a game. We just played a game the other day, uh, Imperial Knights versus, um, what did he play? Imperial Knights versus Astronaut Terum. It's a good game, very close game. I, I'm not going to spoil it or anything, but I thought, you know, I was trying Imperial Knights, but it's my Forgeral Knights, which are very over-costed, I find. They're not as good as the normal Knights now. They used to be better, but I think they're definitely worse now because the new Codex, they drastically decrease the points costs of the non forge World Knights. And um, the, the amount of firepower that the new Knights can put out is just gr gross. So. Especially those new, big, or the bigger Knights. So, I'm just gonna put more pink my palette. Um, but it was good. Very good game. Good game, for sure. Perfect. This guy is coming along. I think this guy's gone. That's why I ran out of the lower bases, so I definitely love him. Um, yeah. As you can see, this army will be coming along in no time. I'm going to re-blend in the back and re-blend the capes later. They're a little too stark. I thought it would dry a little bit darker. That's okay. I'll go back and just blend them. And we'll see how far I get between now and next week. I'll probably just paint these guys in my, like whenever I apply a shade or something that has to dry on my tutorial model, I'll paint these guys in the meantime and work on them, get as far as I can get between um, steps in a tutorial. And then uh, once they're done, I'll just turn my attention to the next guy. Now, as I said, most of my, um, my, uh, what they used to be called, Skatari, um, they are all Martian, so red primarily, and then my Cult Mechanicus are Metallica, but I have three um, Tech Priest Dominuses, and Tech Priest Dominuses are actually um, Cult Mechanicus, they're not Skatari. But I've decided I'm going to do two of them in the metallic color scheme. And since I have three of them, I might as well do one in the uh, margin, the mar Martian color scheme, I guess. Martian. And uh, so I'll do him in, in a matching color scheme. It's just a lot more detailed of a model. So. The models are definitely a little bit more complicated than orcs, if you know what I mean, and necrons. for uh, Admech, like, there's a model for the Tech Priest Dominus, a lot of, you know, a lot of dimension to it, a lot of, you know, a lot of colors. So he'll be a little while's work. I could probably paint him over a week, at least just by himself.
started a laundry between the takes. Just get some stuff done. Yeah. Got a little multitasking. But yeah, life's good. You know what? It's I'm these summer days, they just blow by. forward to one day that maybe I'm actually like, hey, I'm running out of models to paint. <laughs> That'll never happen. When I get low, I'll start buying stuff again. I haven't been buying a lot of models lately. I did buy the Forge Bane site, uh, the Forge Bane box set. That was the last two things I've purchased were the Forge Bane box set and the uh, Renegade box set because the box sets are actually where all the value is the GW puts out, right? The Forge Bane box set had the you know, two knights, Admech, and Necrons. Three armies I will be playing, right? I these are the these are the net, the Admech guys from the Forge Bane box set. And the Forge Bane box set is great value, right? And then the Renegade Knight box set was just over the cost of one knight, you get two knights. So I bought those two, but I've definitely painted a lot more this year than I have. Uh, sorry, I've, I've purchased. I've painted a lot more this year than I've purchased. You know, all my Necrons are now painted. Which is nice. All right, those. There we go. Yeah, what else did I do? Today was a busy day. I just ran a lot of errands. Got an oil change on my car. Um, got a few other things, small things done. So now it's up to good. It's running a lot. It definitely feels like it's running better. You gotta take care of the car, right? Otherwise, ye, there's problems. <laughs> so my next question to you all is what things do you have left to do this summer? Did you have any summer plans that have yet to happen and you're definitely going to make sure they happen? Maybe kayaking, canoeing, camping, just relaxing with friends and family. What would you guys have left? And girls, of course, but... Uh, What is left on your last few weekends? I guess we have three or four more weekends left, depending on where you are. Certain, like I know in the states, I think the kids are already back at school in most in some districts, and we go back to school in August. They leave school earlier and they come back to school earlier, so that's cool. Um, here in Canada, they go back to school, school in September. Here's the next guy, leader dude. Yeah. As I said, th this army, uh, it it's a very the very point sufficient. It's a very well. It's a an army that you can bring a lot of models in for eighteen hundred and fifty points. Adeptus um, Titanicus is coming out. That's cool. It looks the models look as I said fantastic. It's just it's a bit expensive of a box set. The value's there if you want to play it because then you save money in the end. But um, oh my goodness, it's just a 
it's a bit more than my, my current budget would allow. <laughs> uh, let's see, what, there have been some summer movies I didn't see. I didn't see Mission Impossible. That's okay. I'll see it sometime. Yeah, I'll definitely do one more shade of red and blend the, the two colors in later. And next week, when you'll, you'll see how much progress I get. I don't think these guys will be done next week. Maybe they will. I don't think they will. Just based on my average speed, and I know my next few days are going to be busy. I work this weekend, so... The new Space Wolf Codex will be good. Yep. And then we'll see what happens next. I think it's Gene Steeler Cult. Another really cool looking army. I've noticed that, that Gene Steeler's kind of the Gene Steeler Cult is kind of the the box set army lately. You know, they were the ones for the the Death Watch box set game, right? They were with um, with Admech for the the Kill Team box set, and there's now pictures showing the new box set with um, with Space Wolves. That they're also in. Guess Games Workshop really wants us to get into Gene's Joe Cult. It's a cool army. I actually will probably paint them in the future. Yeah. And this guy. <laughs> yeah, see this entire paint job, uh, the last 15, 10 minutes, the metallics have really slowed me down. I thought I'd get a lot more done. That's okay. At the end of the tutorial, we did the red, or not the end tutorial, the end of the painting with Jay, we've done the reds. I'm gonna blend a little more of the reds in. And uh, four of the metallics, four of the silvers are done. That's not too bad. And then I'll just keep working on this. You know, as I said, in, the, in my off time, between tutorials, I'll get, keep working on, on Admech, and we'll go from there. These guys will be done. In no time. No, I have them based. Life will be good. I'll pick up the next box. I have one more uh, start collecting Admech left to paint. So that'll probably be the next thing I pick up out of my workshop um, to work on. After this, after I'm done, uh, well, I'm gonna, I just decided I'm gonna assemble the box set and then paint you know, all the models in it. So next is the Tech Priest Dominus from this set. Gonna be painted in a margin color, color scheme. And then um, after that, I will assemble the next squad of Skatari, paint them. And then probably another Tech Priest Dominus, and then what's else in that set? The Doom Crawler. You know, the Doom Crawler will take a little bit. I do mostly airbrush the Doom Crawler, so that'll be done again between painting with Jays. I got to finish up the the Data Smith for the robots. He's not required anymore. He used to be required before the new codex came out, but he's not anymore. So that's not bad. I don't have to take him. There's then your robots can't change their their programming. Um, yeah, I'll work through these one by one. You know, we'll just every week for the next little while. This this for all I know, this could be the rest of my year army. I don't think so. I don't think it'll take me the rest of the year. Mark my words on that one. But um, it could be. 
at least once until I'm uh, at least until I'm done my Imperial Knights, and then I'll do an Imperial Knight Codex, not Codex Review, uh, Army Showcase. I still gotta do a Tyranids one. I did not want my Tyranids. Yeah, I gotta do a Tyranids um, Army Showcase. I'm the Necron one. A little bit was out of focus, so I might re refilm it. Yeah. Huh. There we go. Look at that. This guy is really cool. This is the leader of the squad. He looks pretty cool. I do want to do that one day. Just um, bring like an army like Admech to a tournament and see how it does. Again, I don't really play, maybe a more fun tournament. I don't think a GT would be the way to start with these guys because they are not. I could bring some cheese. I could bring like, oh, I'd have to borrow some models right now because I don't have, you know, that much cheese. But, um, oh my goodness, like you can bring a lot of models with this army. So. But I don't know if it'd be worth bringing like a horde of Admech. The Doom Crawlers are pretty nasty. The, um, what else? Maybe with a Knight. That would be actually probably the way to go. Do a Knight of the Cog and bring them. That'd be a good way. Add some some competitiveness into my list, especially with one of those new knights. That's where I see a lot of the competitive lists are. They bring one of the new, uh, the bigger knights, I forget what they're called, but um, one of the plasma guns, and just in the backfield and just start annihilating things. Would work. Hmm. I don't know. I don't usually think on a competitive level. It's usually just simply find out what's competitive and spam it. But uh, I don't do that. I tend to not have spammy lists. Unless I'm very orcs because then I have a theme like all Grotzukas or you know, it's kind of fun. No, or, sorry, all Grot tanks. It's not, it is spamming technically, right? Because I'm bringing all Grot tanks. But Grot tanks are not, um, I'm not spamming Grot tanks because they're competitive. I'm spamming them because they're fun. Right? It's the theme of my list. Since that rule of three came out, for example, the old Tyranid lists were like nine Flyrants. And now it's like three Flyrants and nine Carnifexes, because you can bring in squads of three. They each count as, you know, a third. And then uh, you can bring, yeah, nine Carnifexes, three Flyrants. I don't know what else you bring. Some troops, maybe, I don't know. Good. Another one done. So yeah, we've been painting for 57 minutes. So I think we're in a good spot to end. So let's end right here. So that concludes another painting with Jay. I really hope you got some stuff done and painted along with me and you're slowly ridding your world of unpainted models and having a great summer. That's what it's all about. And winter for those who are in Australia. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep working on these Admet guys over the next little while as well as some more painting tutorials on some Imperial Knights. So stay tuned for more videos, and stay tuned for a Codex review in the near future. Uh, as always, this video is brought to you by my Patreon subscribers. As you can see, their names are why in my head. It's because of them that they help bring my videos to you. So if you really want to help my videos, please click on the link in the description below and support my video campaign, my Patreon campaign. And uh, yeah, so thank you as always for painting with me. Till next time, this is Jay saying happy painting with me. And I don't even miss a spot.